Yeah. Let me see if Bonnie needs something else from me. Or is it just showing me our crap? Come back after 10 a.m. today. 10 a.m.? What time is it? It is 10 a.m. Okay, there we go. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarlane. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Yeah. Something like that. Sure. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. Yeah. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws. And we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. Yeah. I'm very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. Okay. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're How is this man. not a movie? You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Shit. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Okay. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check that out. You're gonna need uh -huh. this, Mr. That's, Marston. That's what I was expecting. Okay, so can I lasso people right. uh, things now? Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Not my horse. Hey. How are you today? Can I capture uh, uh, people alive now? Sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. Really? They ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just but enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power's uh -huh. like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Come on, let's rope 
Enjoyed that a lot. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's sure. no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. So yeah. that must be shy Joker, Miss McFarland. Saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Oh, that's that's a good business. Come on, Catching Mr. wild horses. Let's head for Armadillo. Sure. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. Oof. Says it all. Oof. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Okay. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Mr. McFarland? From a couple of chief governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. My brother left. It was up to me to become the man of the ah, ranch. There he it never is. admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looked. You're worth 
two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. Yeah. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Why is it painful? There's my boys. Looking for them horses. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. Yeah. Yeah. Where are they? Right behind the herd. Sure. Canyon, up the canyon. Okay, I get it. Yeah, move, pushing move. them towards the canyon. Great, I get it. Skip it. By mistake. He is very fast, and my my, my horse is gonna get tired. Go. But he should also get tired at some point. Quite know where, where I'm supposed to be aiming. Uh huh. Fuck. No, stop it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I've done it before. I can do it. What are you doing? 
it. Stop it, please. Please stop it. Come on. Come on. Nearly got Oh, this ain't good. Relax. Can't see properly because of the cactuses. Hold it down. Yeehaw. Come on. Hey. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Six. Jesus. that say I help the ranch hands patrol McFarland's ranch should I do that I can try follow Charlie he's a good one to sniff out trouble stick next to the dog mister okay Okay, cool. Lasso and hawk tie them. Good. Are you a criminal? Why are you doing this, sir? Don't want none of this bad business. No. We seem to be okay. You ain't you ain't smelling nothing. Look, I trust you. If you and if you, if you ain't finding nothing, I'll assume there ain't nothing. Try and catch the other one. Okay, I didn't let let it, let him go though. Cool. What? I'm I'm good. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Outfit menu entry updated. Let me see. Oh, look at that. That's my room, right? Hey, 
miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do okay. you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Okay. Go. Let's go. We don't have much time. Yeah. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Sure. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past right. is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds like out em. grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can sure. handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. We're not gonna be able to hear each other in this rain. Just make sure you don't lose sight of me. Ugh. That's gonna be an issue, I think. Go. So where are we taking them? Oh, behind the heart. Okay. I got a little ahead of myself. Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. Yeah. Scatter, don't scatter. Fuck, I was going too fast. Oh, this is really bad. There's food! We have to stop the stampede! Do something! They're heading for the cliff! No stop! Let's go! One, it's easier to move the herd towards the, the stragglers than the other way around. Stop it. Move, let's go. Stay together, you dumb animals. This storm's that was cool. getting nasty. I can't see anything. Move, come on. Let's go. Bonnie, are you, are you so close? No, stop. Let's go. What are you doing? 
you, buddy. Yeah, go back. Keep it moving. Great. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Mr. Farland. Come on, boy. I am proud of myself. useful not particularly listen son I know you got a mission but right now I need another gun why what's happening we've had this problem for months with this group of bandits okay. who are getting drunk and murdering settlers last night they went to a big place up near Ridgewood they burnt the place down killed the men burning most of them alive and raped the women women nice both guys got their throats slit one of them survived and walked in here this morning anyway we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Yay. Don't, don't drink. Hey, wait up! Let go. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man yep. who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. Mm -hmm. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result Is that of the years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was it's you. It's science, though. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. Oh, but you're especially dumb. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Go! Oh boy. Well, this ain't good. This is not good. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. So am I just gonna keep it? The weapon in the same category as the one you already had. Okay, let's, let's check it.
is the yeah the Winchester is better at everything except reload speed so I'm gonna use it instead come on keep following this road okay what kind of man does that a bunch of weak men a pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain neat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Uh-huh. Not Marshall! More Bolter! Yep. Alright, let's go check it out. This is gonna turn sour at some point. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Sons of bitches! Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. Uh -huh. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Bridge Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Okay. Uh, I'm trying not to sneeze. Shed's clear, Marshal. There's there's blood here, though. Oh, this is the outhouse. That was a shed. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. No one here. Nah, I'm not gonna like this. that door open. Fuck. Well, shit. Great. Holy sweet mother of mercy. took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Jesus. All right, boys. We need to get into that house right now. Where, where can I take cover? That's where. Please. 
mother of God! Oh, goddamn law! Yes, please. when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Still might be. Bomb salt. everyone though isn't it what have you got for me Woo. it's just straight up ceiling I didn't really get much though Where is the marshal? That was a good campaign. Hey, marshal. Some folk tried to escape into the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You just a man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. <laughs> Come on, they're gonna get away. All right, let's find those bastards. Fuck them up. Yeah. Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. Oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Okay. Makes sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. We might take care of the thing. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. No, that's that's what the hell yeah, you exactly. Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've wait, who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Oh, this is gonna be an issue. Everybody, take cover! In that take shed! Oh, okay. Follow me! 
I really like the, the repeater ready, though. Here they come. No, stop that. Come on, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Stop that. Norman Deke. Fuck. I see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Shit. A lot of corpses here. <laughs> 